हेलो व्यूअर्स माय डियर फ्रेंड्स स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम अशोक सेन गुप्ता फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट साइंसेज लखनऊ टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द कंटिन्यू द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट कोर्स इन एमबीए प्रोग्राम इन प्रीवियस सेक्शन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट वर्ड एंड एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टुडे we will discuss uh, we will discuss the other aspects which are required which are required in project costing today we will discuss about the component of projects are there projects component or project cost component previously uh, we discussed the aspect of project cost management where we discuss the allocation or these resources control the resources we discuss about how we manage the resources estimate the resources and then control to in today we understand that what are the resources and how we maintain that one what so first resources if you talk about component of cost is material cost in material cost so whenever we talk about project when we talk about any project we required materials certain materials we required certain materials this is the cost that associate with the procurement of such items like raw material for example for building a house we required various we required a procure various materials like cement bricks plumbing items electrical items like wire bulb fan tap sanitary items and for finishing like paint balu putties etc if software project we required software and hardware so every project every project have its own requirement so material to understand the material cost we need to compare the material cost we need to get the estimate from various vendors and then have need to select which vendor is providing you the quality material at lower cost for uh, for any project in government or any big projects especially in government projects right uh, road development or express ways government issue tender and the basic uh, things which for the tender is government try to find out the best contractor who provide the quality work with the within a budget because every project have its own budget purvanchal express way in up is going to be start in a in few after 15 days to or a month ganga express way is proposed to start so every project have its own budget and because these are the government project or uh, even in private project also every project has its own budget and they need to control the budget first by material first by material so component of project first is material cost if material cost reduced or we control over the material cost then it is quite easy to handle the overall cost of the project uh 
take any example, any other example like uh, in restaurant, if you want to start a restaurant, we required a kitchen, we required a various food items, we required a leverish uh, sitting area, hygiene, we intend to hygiene, we need. So, this is also a project where we have to control over the cost of food also because for the if you talk if we started the restaurant for the middle class people then we have to maintain the price of the recipe according to them but we, if we talk about taj we take out the hayat they are these hotels are being for the high income level group especially. So, price control over the food it is not an important thing, important thing is to provide them a better amenities, 5 star hotel having pay, 7 star hotel they charging a good amount from the people because they know that they need to provide them a good amenities, but each and every project, each and everything need required a material cost. After the material cost, next thing is human resource. Human resource is an important part of any project because without human resource, no, com no project can be accomplished without human resource we never thought to complete any project. So, what will be the salary of the, the team, team members, supervisor, what will be the wages rate, you need to control of it, you need to understand that ki how many, how much we have to pay, because if you pay too low then nobody will join your organization, nobody will join your project. So, you have to maintain the trend according to the market and pay them good. If you pay them good, then they then they retain in your company, but paying them good does not mean that you pay them more than your budget. So, human resource is an important part as material if you talk about the cost of the component of the project. Next is pre-planning cost, pre-planning cost, this cost includes the proposal making cost, proof of concept cost, marketing research cost. If you are going to launch a new product, you need to market research, you hire a company who do the market research for you, um, collect the database from the customer, collect the behavior of the customer and their decision making of the customer and then present you about what the what the customer want and they way, and then you start thinking about the project okay, now we okay what, customer need this kind of thing so we are going to add on this thing in our project so market research vendor cost bidding cost are the pre planning cost this also include hiring costs such as higher project cost team member budget timeline some legal licensing, workplace, securing the workplace, etcetera. In construction places, you saw that you will see uh, companies construct, build temporary offices, Com company build temporary offices for the supervisors, for the project managers. They also build temporary house for the labor. So, they and their family stay there and uh, they are no move to any other way. So, the, when we do this kind of activity during the project, this is the pre planning cost, the additional cost we incurred. Take license from the if you are going to start a factory, the new to license from the from various government authorities like environment, state government, central government, 
offices and pay the license fees. So, other th these are the print by expenses so we need to control on that and is a part of the component. Operating cost, operating cost of the project consists of fee associated with consists of fee associated with purchasing project suppliers. Other such cost, rent cost, facility cost, energy cost, other daily expenses, running daily machineries, fuel. If you are if you doing the production of anything like cement, you need a power, and some and most of the cement plant having their own power supply from the thermal energy. For thermal energy, thermal power plant, they have a own thermal power plant. Then you require a huge amount of coal. So this is the operating cost. You have to pay daily basis. You near. You need a huge amount of coal per day, and for for huge amount of coal, you have to pay accordingly to the government or the agencies like Coal India. You have tie up with the Coal India. Coal India is providing you the coal. You have to say, provide them the they are selling their coal to you and you are paying for that. If you are constructing a bridge for welding a other kind of thing, you will require a generator and generator is are on fuel like diesel. So, you require a daily, uh, daily basis diesel or you have to maintain a proper uh, inventory of diesels. So, it will not Im, uh, affect your working. So, these are the operating cost which are the part of the component of the project costing, part of the project costing. Insurance is a part of that rental fees is a part of that, so, provide freight charges, pick up of goods etcetera. There are various components, various expenses which are related to the operating cost. So, now we came to the next point type of cost, we type of cost. Before that uh, in previous topic was component of project cost and here the type of cost. The first type of cost is direct cost, first type of cost is direct cost. Then the word said direct cost because it is directly related to the product, directly related to the product or services. So, it is known as direct cost. Direct cost is a can be a raw material, wages, etcetera. If you manufacturing, if if a company manufacturing uh, a car or kind of manufacturing a truck, manufacturing a, a, a compressor, co then the wages of the worker is related to direct cost. Power use during that work in the factory is direct cost. Raw material used for manufacturing that truck is a part of direct cost. So, what are the components or elements, elements which are directly related to the product or services? is a direct cost like railways provide you services. So, railway basically nowadays on electricity, so electricity, electricity consumed by railway is a part of direct cost. Payment of the driver, payment of the ticket collector a part of direct cost because they are directly associated with that. 
So, <coughs> direct cost if it if you talk about the manufacturing and trading account it came before the profit and loss. Direct cost is basically purchase plus wages plus other expenses. These costs are directly related to the product and they are also associated with the factory. All the cost which incur during a premises where the product is manufacturing, it is direct cost. Now, on the other hand, indirect cost. So, total cost, total cost if you talk direct cost plus indirect cost. Indirect cost on the other hand expenses unrelated to the production of the goods and services, but it is a part of that. It is indirectly associated with it, indirectly related to it. Example, if Ford, the direct cost associated with each vehicle include tyre and steel. However, the electricity used to power plant is considered to be indirect and electricity used in product is in a plant. Electricity used in a factory, electricity used in a factory directly associated with the production of that car. But on the other hand, if we talk about electricity consumed in an office where ma managers are there, clerks are there, they are sitting in the office, the electricity used in that office is a part of indirect cost. Courier charges, postal charges, telephone expenses, depreciation are all part of indirect cost because they are not related to the manufacturing of that product, but they are part of that. They are part of that like expenses of paper, printing. In today we have all printers in the offices and in offices we have a printer and we have print the various documents. The cost of that paper rim is a part of indirect cost because it is not used for manufacturing that, fact, uh, that car, but steel tyre and other component which are directly related to that car manufacturing by Ford or any car company any car company is related to the direct cost. So, indirect cost is a part of profit and loss account, indirect cost are part of profit and loss account and we need to control over that because both are directly related, both are both affect the total cost. So, if total cost increases, we can control either direct cost or indirect cost. We can control direct cost or indirect cost. Companies are taking have taken nowadays to maintain the cost, they are doing various kind of strategies using a different kind of raw material which is low cost and having the same kind of quality. Some in offices. Uh, companies uh, going to save electricity, companies saving papers, installing solar plant in, 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 in the offices which save the electricity and we save the cost. 
Similarly, company reduce the other reduce the other benefits to the managers, top managers or supervisors, any kind of benefits like uh, you said benefits to their children or they this is this is these are the things which they can control and by controlling them they can maintain the total cost. Another th thing which is called fixed cost, this cost is incurred and do not related to the number of unit produced, number of unit produced that is fixed like payment of rent, if you are uh, if you if you stay in a rent and you not in a city, but you have to pay the rent, you have to pay the rent, this is fixed cost. During uh, transport, comp transport companies, railways, aircraft try to reduce their fixed cost, especially if you fly with two passengers, you have the cost of the consumption of petrol or fuel is fixed. If you fly with the 10 passengers, it is it, it is same. So, companies are going to reduce the fixed cost, fixed cost reduce when number of unit use increases. So, if you talk about the fixed cost, it is like it is fixed cost and is per unit, cost and per unit. So, this is fixed cost, it remains same with the unit. So, the per unit fixed cost will reduced when we increase more and more units, when we increase more and more units per unit fixed cost will reduced. So, company is now working on that to reduce the cost. Variable cost just opposite of fixed cost, variable cost is the cost increases with increases of the production output, cost increases with increases in production and output this is known as variable cost like this. If this is cost, uh, this is output with the increase in output cost increases. Uh, I started this point from here only because at initial level at point 0 when no unit has consumed or produced still there is some cost incurred variable at initial level, then it is moving according to, so there is like a raw material, raw material is variable cost because number raw material consumed output will increase. If two units of raw material consume, then 5.5 unit output, if four unit consume, one unit output like this. So, it is proportionately increases with the increase in the output of the product. So, variable cost is just contracted with the fixed cost. So, so, when we talk about the total cost, so this is fixed cost, this is variable cost, oh, quantity and cost, this is the diagram. Recurring cost, recurring cost general and administrative operating expenses are normally ongoing expenses required for operating a company in a company's chosen line business. These expenses typically 
arrear on the company's income statement as indirect cost and are also factor including the balance sheet and cash flow. So, recurring cost means day to day expenses which are part of that uh, part of that business and come in as an indirect cost like salary like, like salary depreciations. Day to day expenses also known as recurring expenses company have to maintain the recurring expenses for a 15 days sorry for a month for 2 months they have to, but no company is working on that uh, it, is, it is difficult to maintain the recurring or working capital this is also known as. So, generally recurring generally administrative operating expenses for the normal ongoing expenses required for the operating in the company in a company's chosen line of business. It is a part of the cash flow statement and it is also an indirect cost. Non recurring expenses. The non recurring expenses are basically those expenses which are capital in nature, and we, these expenses are commonly used for the commonly used in various aspects of the business, but they are non recurring, they are just opposite to the they are just opposite to the recurring expenses. They are one time expenses and they are very difficult to maintain these expenses because these are non recurring expenses. So, my dear friends uh, today uh, we will have we have discussed the topic the, to, the topic cost and cost total type of cost. Hope you understand this video and about the various type of costing and the various component of the costing. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.